Okay, so previously on Horizon Forbidden West, we got another subfunction. Hooray! Um, we found Beta, our another Elizabeth clone, and she is frankly rude. Uh, she also maybe was catfished by a scientist. Uh, we also saved Vegas. New Vegas. That was fun. Um, and we had to do some underwater exploring. And then we lit Vegas back up. Which was fun and exciting. Yeah. It was super fun. And it was like so lovely at the end and those three people are gonna make new New Vegas. Oh, and I decided after I was... Ooh. That's pretty. Um, after we ended the stream last time, oops, I was just like doing boring things like assigning my skill um, points and whatever. And I was looking at what quests we would do this time, and I realized that there are cal there was a cauldron that we hadn't done that we could do, and have more types of um, machines that we can override. So I thought we would start out with a cauldron today. The Mew cauldron. I don't remember if they were all named after Greek letters, but this one appears to be. Um, and yeah, I thought we could discover some the secrets within, because why not? And so I did fast travel too close to it, just to save some time this morning. Or this, this morning. <laughs> this lovely morning that we're having. Um, so that's that on that. Can climb this. Um, today I've been trying to catch up. I'm my I'm backlogged on my videos on YouTube, um, and I was editing. The, bon the first bonus game that we did, where we did like the ruins and play played a couple games of Strike and all that. And like at the beginning of the video, I was like, I'm probably not gonna put this on YouTube. But then I accidentally ended up doing lower things, so I did end up wanting to put it on YouTube, but I made myself laugh by being wrong, as usual. Doopy doopy doo. Okay. We sure are on this mountain. Let's hope there are no danger birds nearby. I think we're just on top of it now. I don't think this was the way to get to the cauldron. Funny if that was the entrance to the cauldron that I was at. Oh, here we go. That's not where I was. Alright. Then. Ooh. 
might not even actually be the entrance. It's just there's some green china. Okay. I think it is back where I was. Embarrassing! It's okay. Got some green shine. Where just was. <laughs> it's weak to us, it. Ooh, black man. Looks like it could be a cauldron. Hack this open. Hack you. I'm running back. What's on inside? Ominous. These ledges look like they'll hold up. Ooh, yuck. I don't like that at all. Ooh. You're about to enter out a cauldron and won't be able to exit until you complete it. Make sure you're prepared. Man, I should have gotten more machine muscle before I went. enough for now. Down it is. 
table seems sturdy enough. Oh! <laughs> Whoopsie! Did not trip part of my bad. Nothing to see here. Daisy. Just failed the very first step in the not too crazy complicated because it, I was supposed to do this back when I was level 18 and I'm level 29 now. Okay, let's try this again. It is. There we go. Seems story enough. Uh, maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Here we go again. I'm just trusting her to do this. I'm not doing anything at all. Oh, yikes. I'll have to find a different path. Yeah, yep. I was just making sure you're all with me here. Damaging a steam vent. That's not a steam vent, apparently. Oh, this might be. Oh, okay. Ooh, is that machine muscle? That's good. Don't know why I'm doing this, but I'm gonna. Just gotta get them right in their little eyeballs. Like, what was this before? Besides incredibly spooky. I mean, I think the cauldrons were just where the machines were all made, but... Like, did humans work in here? Or did they just kind of build them and then bounce? Because I wouldn't want to be inside of one of these. Ugh. Okay. Oh boy. Acid will eat right through that metal. Oh, damn. More machines. 
And some other over here. Ow, 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 ow. Stop that. I like the noise that the overdraw makes. The little, like, ting. Oh, we think we're gonna- I'm gonna make this jump after the last jump I didn't make? Oh, okay, good. So if I remember which one is drop and which one is pulling yourself backwards horribly. Let's get go. past this shield. like a graveyard back there. Suzuki. Ouch, mama. Get up. Like a, I don't know why it reminded me of a graveyard because it's water and stuff, but. Terrible. I'm so upset you called it an arm because it's absolutely an arm. And I hate that for us. Oh, hi. You spartled me, pupper. Spartled? Did I say spartled? Startled me. Pupper. Oh, sure. Oh no. So far, so good. I just need to jump off the right time. Okay. Sure.
Shell Walker. I think I need something from a Shell Walker, don't I? Oh no, Claw Strider. Elemental Claw Strider. I don't mind if I do. I do have more machine muscle, but I'm gonna wait. No, I don't think I'll need my frosty things. Okay, here goes nothing. Oh no, not a shield. Ah! Oops. Oh no. Ooh, ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Popping at me. Ouch. Stop it. Ooh. Wow, I hate those a lot, actually. things up there and I've already used so many healthy things Shell work kind. I don't have to fight the manufacturing arm, do I? Those metal carriers can get me closer to the core. Them. A great question. A little, a little red thing. Let's see if they can help us. Do a little bridge. Oh. 
see if we use that mechanical arm to that mechanical arm to that platform over there. Faster, Aloy, faster! These things close! Uh -oh. No! Okay, that's not great. Bob! Also, the thing is vibrating like crazy. Can I climb up here? Oh yeah, there we go. I think this is amusing, Aloy. I'm over here shitting a brick. You get them. Hitching a ride. Hitching a ride. A wee. can help me reach the core. I just have to get to them. Getting close to cool. the core. A little less obvious. Uh... Where I can uh, successfully jump on a little you? Oh, there we go. Yeah, you tell me. Can't wait to find out what kind of terrible beast we'll have to fight in here. Oh, it 
never seen machines stored like that. At least it's deactivated for now. It has way too many legs. Whatever is touching that wide moth. Provide one. Access to public interior. Okay, well. It won't be mad about this at all. Guess yeah. I'm not getting those overrides without a fight. Do you think so? I don't like it. It looks like an angry, like, hippo. Oh god, there's more than one. Oh! Ow, 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 ow! Stop that! Oops, I did not mean to do whatever that is. Oh, the machine's got back up! That should be able to access the core now. Maybe I should always wait ten levels before doing cauldrons. This is really boosting my confidence. Looks like Hephaestus has been upgrading the cauldron security grid. Shooting element on a machine. Overridden, but that doesn't seem right. Borrowers, scroungers, grazers. Oh my god, can I ride one of those? Oh my gosh. There's so many of them. No, wait, there was a cauldron door down there that I wanted to go through. God damn it. Should be able to override scroungers now. Oops. 
I can override them when they're down like that, though. Could have had a whole army of friends. I failed. Oh man, I'm mad I didn't go through that door now. There was a door down there. Cool. We did it! Okay. I'm still not ready to do Demeter yet, because we have other... ...tasks to do. We could do... yeah, I guess we should do them in order. Okay. Ooh. More skill points to use too. We'll do that later. Okay, this is gonna, I think, be good though, because now we can go into hard battles with friends by our side. I feel like I haven't collected Ridwood in ages. I think I just had so much of it in the beginning that I never had to get it again. Oops. But I feel like I'm gonna have to eventually. Okay. Fast travel. Where are we going? Oh, we're going far. These are unknown campfires. This is known though. Closer? For sure. This is fun. I think in the last game, although I also didn't, I don't think I did all the cauldrons in the first game. I was very like main, like, I feel a little more completionist about this game because also like, why not? But I... I don't think I did all the cauldrons last time. Oh, there's new quests in there. No, oh, I have to focus. I have so many quests already. Oh, but it's right there. It's only 80 feet away. I want to go. I want to go see what they want. Um. But I don't know that you could override machines that you couldn't ride in the last game. You could like. You could override the ones that were like. Uh, corrupted. You could decorrupt things, but I don't know that you could. Over, just override once for some of Hi. An honor champion. I'm Nako. Have nice you been out you. to the Valley of the Fallen by chance? I think that's where I'm going right now. Have. Why? What's there? My idiot little brother. 
The valley is a test of endurance and skill from my clan, the Lowlanders. But it's been closed for months, Commander's orders. There have been reports of strange lights off the coast, and the whole area is crawling with deadly machines. But Dax, reckless and bare-armed as he is, went in any way. Never takes no for an answer. Convinced two others to go with him, too. They've been missing for days, and now Marshal Ivira has been sent in to bail them out. Strange lights, deadly machines, and missing soldiers. Sounds like it's a job a for... for Marshall. I'd go the champion! If I wasn't stuck on transport duty. I'll find your brother, if I can. Where is this valley? Southwest of here. In the depths of lowland territory. Look for the climbing path on the cliffs. It oh, marks sure. the start of the valley. Well, and the if you see path. my brother, knock him on his ass for making me worry. Will do. Strange lights off the coast. Whatever it is, it can't be good. No. I should look into it when I'm out that way. Yeah. Oh, hey, do you have... I've heard of you, Outlander. Your exploits must require... Machine muscle and echo shells? I probably could sell some of these outfits. I'm not gonna use these. Oh no! No, that's the one that I was using! Oh no, it's not. Is it? Ah. Shoot. Oh no, this is what I'm wearing. Wait. Yeah, okay. Okay. Oh, I thought that I sold the one that I- because I'm wearing one that's like functional and then I'm looks liking a different one. Man, I just got so nervous. Okay. See, this is why I don't sell outfits, because I get nervous. Oh, okay, I see. It's marked, the one that I could, it looks like. Oh, but I could look like the cooler one. It's fine. Not important. Yeah, I'm never going to wear this. Let's sell this one. recently did all of this, so probably not gonna get much. It's fine. And I would like to buy echo shells and machine muscle. No, thank you. Use it carefully so you don't stain your fingers. Or no problem, pal. Also, you did a point. Micah! Oh. Remember Sonia, the age of Senator Maria Medina? She's just in an interview going on about how you're unfit to leave the museum due to confirmed bias towards government history. Ugh. Please advise our PR, PR strategy. Medina's visit is due in two weeks. This timing couldn't be worse for us. Ooh. A scroll. Talking about the cool route. I've definitely been here before. Climate change wasn't the only war, only cause. Water rights, politics, urban versus rural states, increasing demand for rare earth materials. Cool. 2037 is not far enough away to be to like this as we've been over. Okay. That didn't try to change my. 
Oh no, this is the Valley of the Fallen. Valley of the Fallen, Gate of the Vanquished. I need to steal some of these names for my D&D game that I'm gonna be world building in because I'm dumb and decided to homebrew an area instead of using existing ones. You know what we gotta do. Aim for campfires. Oh, do I have a mount right now? Gosh. I need potions. I guess I can't have potions. I have too many potions. I'm just gonna start collecting ridge because I'm nervous now. Because, like, they're not even going to my stash anymore. What the hell is that? Is that a pecorino again? Peccary? <laughs> I don't know why I made them little in Italian. Oh! God damn it. I wasted machine muscle. It's fine. You deserve to live for my stupidity. Unless you're gonna keep running in my path. In which case, you're just tempting fate. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Okay. See if I have a mount, but oh, oh nice. Is that one of the ones we know? I don't think so. Just a regular horn lizard. Oh, it's a chuckwalla. What the hell's that? Oh god. Hey, Eloy. I paid oh. a visit to your showman buddies down in Vegas. And where you picked up beside them. They really spruced up the place. Uh, I guess they're calling it Hidden Ember now. Uh huh. I think they could use your help with a few things too. Thanks, Aaron. I'll try to pay them a visit when I can. I am obsessed with the fact that Aaron can just call me. That is so sweet and cute, and I love it. Useful for making dyes. Might as well check this campfire out too while we're around. Maybe get a get a peek at the tonic. See what its deal is. Unless it's protected by many, many creatures, in which case. Oh yeah. What the hell is that? Do we think we can make it to that fire pit without upsetting it?
Oh no. A new quest over here? How? Are there people over here? Oh, there is a... People. Oh. Everything okay? What are you doing out here? Ask my grandmother. <laughs> I risked leaving guard duty to look for her. She stopped to see the bloom and now she won't leave. Since when does she care about flowers? They're not just flowers, child. They're scarlet stems with the scent that soothes the nerves. Or so I was told many years ago by an Utaru seed tracker. In Utaru? Now you're telling stories. If one trespassed here back then, you'd have killed him on sight. I couldn't. Found him picking flowers. Right near here, in Tanakh territory. I was all set to strike him down, but he was singing. <laughs> singing? Can't remember the tune now. Just the lilt of his voice. And his name. Did you have a crush? Nilo. He decided to stay for a day or two. I took guard duty here so I could keep coming back to him. And he kept delaying his return to Plainsong. For the flowers, he said. Please don't tell me I'm descended from a new <laughs> gardener. Almost. Almost. But the thrill of battle called to me, and he had to return to his people. I've always wondered about the life I missed with him. Whether he misses it too. Would he welcome me in Plainsong? Or at least accept a scarlet stem. It's a long way to plain song, but I get back there now and then. I could pick some scarlet stems and bring them to Nilo, if I can find him. Please. <laughs> he was an herbalist there. I know the time has long since passed, but I'd like to know. Well, I'd like him to know. Ugh, you know what I mean. <laughs> I think I do. Encouraging an old woman? Why would you do that? Why wouldn't I? Harm is fun. This is the cutest errand. I don't know how to find scarlet stems. Are they just around here? Don't a rock. Think she'll find that Nilo guy? I thought you didn't care. <laughs> I don't. Not really. Tonic. Do you know where the scarlet stems are? Oh, is that there over there? I'm cooking my armor in this heat. Well, now I want to do that. I just want to collect. Scarlet stems.
the hell that thing is. Not enough to go near it though. What's that? Okay, Plain Song is too far away, but I will next time I'm in Plain Song. I will indeed do that. What were we doing before? This one? Yeah. Okay. Good work, guys. Memorial Go. You want to take a moment and admire the view? Kind of. Okay. Oh, you're not talking to me. And I'm done. Ooh, scorpion. Just gonna do a quick little nice to see a save. That is big. I'm sure the gate of the vanquished is a chill fun time. Here. So many cans of things I can explain. You're their commander. You can Hi. You're here. I'm here. Ah, the hero of the cool roots. That's me. Aloy. Did you come to witness the challenge? Does there uh... have to be a challenge? Oh yeah, there does. If you persist, all of these squads will join the fights. How many will die here? And how many will die in our villages once the retaliation begins? There has to be another way. I agree. Listen to what she has to say. You both owe her that much. Oh no. Okay. Yara, do you really need to do this? He sabotaged the wound. You can't tell me you believe he knew nothing about it. And it was all part of his plan to force a confrontation. Don't you see? This is what he's wanted all along. It doesn't matter how many die as long as he gets what he wants. Command of the clan. No. I'm putting an end to this. Now! I don't know. Do we believe that he... Oh god, I'm gonna have to choose a side? Guys! Draka, you lost a lot of good people. This goes against my very nature. Trade for water. You want to lose more now? But that cost is exactly why I'm doing this. Why I had to send people to find other sources in the first place. I swear to you, I had nothing to do with what happened to the wound. I Uta don't came believe to him. Said he found underground leaks that might lead to another well. That's all. I didn't tell him to screw it all up and drain the wound. So stand down so we can all talk about this. No. No more talking, no more lies. Yara can't be trusted. That's been proven. Uh, okay. This uh, things that go against my nature, choosing sides, and also choosing the man's side over the woman's side. But I think he's right. I don't think that he. But I also don't know. Oh no, guys, what did I? What have I done? Oh boy. Oh uh, lord. Oh. I know what my decision is, and it's not is to this decide. Do you plan to save your clan by causing a massacre over who gives the orders? Drop this foolishness and work together. She's right. Put away your spears. Return to your homes. Which means she stays in charge? Forget it. You see? Replacing me is all he cares about. I'll kill you both and start over. It's a vendetta, and it has to end here. Uh, for once, we agree. Pick a side, Aloy. Because we're settling this now. 
There must be a way to minimize the bloodshed. The Tanakh never make things easy, do they? I'm afraid not. What a, what a trick they did to me by making me think I could not decide and then making me decide anyways. Here's the thing. I think she's a good leader and I don't, but I don't think he's lying. I don't know what to do to you. <laughs> Uh, oh god, I think I have to side with him because he came to me for help with the water situation. And then when he when we fixed the water situation, she still was like we're not using that water because it's not I think I have to side with him. This isn't about Draka conspiring against you, Yara. It's about your people. You lied to them about yeah. the wound. You also said their survival is all that matters. Was that a lie too? If it wasn't, then stand down. Give Draka a shot at command. It was no lie. Which is why I'll never hand over command to the likes of him. Because yeah, she us. lied to her people, and then Just she wouldn't us. let them use the water that they Can found because lives? it wasn't from the it was Keep a whole your mess. Out of it. I've seen how you fight. These soldiers are with me. Then we stand with Aloy and Draka. Even numbers. I'll take no joy in fighting either of you. <sighs> New rules. We're keeping it to just us. Winner takes command. Oh, what am I gonna have to do in this situation? Shooting. Okay, new approach. Oh boy, have I been looking forward to this. Ow. Excuse me, I'm trying to figure out what kind of jump that is. Thanks. What are we... Those are pretty badass last words, though. You gonna make me wait around? 
You didn't need to do that. Akaro didn't, and Regala bit him in the ass. <sighs> okay, so... What's the plan? The wound still doesn't have enough water for everyone. I feel like we should have asked him his the leaders plan from all the desert villages. before. We'll figure it out. For a second there, you sounded like a real commander. Your confidence is inspiring. <laughs> here, take this. My thanks for what you did here today. You didn't have to get involved. I shouldn't I have. What you did, Desert Flame. I forgot that they're military people. It's funny. I don't feel good about this. Oh, I can't loot her body. That's sad. Ooh, level 30, maybe. Brewing. Is that what he gave me? That's cool. Is this a cauldron? What the hell is this? First of all, it's not the quest I'm going to do next. Let me go in here real quick, see what the hell this is all about. Oh, it is. It's Gemini. Should we do another cauldron? Should this be the cauldron episode? Oh no, I can't even do it yet. But why not? Whee! I have a feeling there's no getting out of this one either once you're in it. Taking the rough and tumble way down. I'm stressed that I don't know what level I'm supposed to be to be here. I just kind of jumped in. Did I already do this one? at the one cauldron. Ok, 
Okay, I guess I just won't go in there again until I'm ready. That was weird. I'm kind of spooky. Zo said we'd find the Grim Horns she needs parts from to heal Plainsong's land gods. Oh. I should let her know I'm here. <gasps> Call Zo! Hey Zo. Hey Zo. I'm near the Grim Horn site. Can you join me? I'll be there soon. Aloy, I'm glad we can do this together. That was the cute Grimhorn too. The should be just to the north. Let's go get those control cores. I love Zo. I love all the besties Thank at the base. Thank you again for helping me. Any time, if though. Works, if we can heal the land gods, it will end a generation of suffering for my people. Mm. How do you think Fane and the Chorus will take it? They seem to think the tribe's extinction is inevitable. I've had my disagreements with them, but I'd like to see they'll be happy to be wrong on this. Her voice is so soothing. Ugh, look at those terrible windmills. There. Ah! The Grimhorns. And they're not alone. We'll just have to be smart about this. I'll follow your lead. Not much use against that. Does it have a trail? Oh, good. I thought those ones kind of look like Triceratops. Oh, right, that's what her land god looks like. I forgot. Yeah, that thing can go far all the way off. Okay. Oh, good. So oh, hide! I'm trying to get close enough to lay, lay acid traps. For this scary looking. going. I'm glad it's not too intelligent. Like, you can see the trap below in there. Triceratops. It's morphin' time. Oh, we got another one up there. Good. Oh, frost fellow back on top of the fire. One? That's great. I love this for this. Oh, good filters. I can pretend like I'll use this.
Ooh. Usable weapon. I don't think this thing is going to walk where we want it to walk. Which is annoying, because we spent all that time laying that trap. It's okay. We're just going to start with this. I was using that. Oh no! Oh. God damn it! I think I need to. Business elsewhere. I'll go back to base. Call me when you want to resume. What? Listen, just because I died doesn't mean I will have business elsewhere. I think this was a good strategy. Get the there, the Grimhorns. And they're not alone. We'll just have to be smart about this. I'll follow your lead. Acid will do a lot of damage. Actually, maybe we'll go and get higher ground. No, I kind of like the idea of using this one down here. Sure can. Oops, that's not it. Oops. 
fight in the water. Get up, get up. Fighting at his ankles. Thank you. Yeah, kill the thing, man. Who's left? Can we do it? Phew. I don't really feel like we did it. There's still another one wandering around. I'll wait for you here. Oh, yep. Pass of ammo could help here. Do I have them? I do, I do. Two control cores as requested. Thank you. Gaia showed me a way to scan them and take what we need to update the reboot code. Nice. I'll head back to base and get started. When I was a child, there was always enough to eat. The land gods provided for us, and every season we celebrated them. My happiest memories come from those times. Do you really think we can bring them back? 
Together we can do anything. Thank you, Aloy. Because teamwork makes the dream work. So we'll probably need some time to sort through those cores. I should do something else in the meantime. Mine. <laughs> oh, by the mill, there was a beast over there. I just hate windmills. Volatile sludge. Gross. I know how the transfers. I'm just not coordinated enough to do them. To Sorry. Okay. She told me to do something else in the meantime, so. Valley of the Fallen? What's this one? What is that? What key? Let's do Let's go to camp nowhere. And then maybe we'll just go back and do the um the in bloom one real quick. That's, that seems like a good quickie.
not worry about running out. Won't I though? Don't I always? Is it pizza and a squeezy? South, where Moreland's boys hang out, they better think again. Why? Two sisters drop by on their way there. Sisters? One of them almost We're made close. the whole damn camp explode. <gasps> My buddies! I'm sure she didn't mean to. I hope. Oh yeah, we can get maybe we can get my boomsticks like upgraded. And they went on to Las Vegas. Oh, they're gonna love Las maybe Vegas. It it's you. See how they're doing. An honor. Will it be a trade? Oh, actually, I'm okay right now. Thank you. Are you talking to me? Because that's rude. Okay, wait. First things first. Let's just see if I can upgrade my pouches. Nope, still no. I don't need more bombs. Okay. Let's grab some ammo. Hell yeah. Can I use any of those other things? Okay. Yeah, see, it costs 13 machine muscle if I do it like this, but it only costs 10 on the, at the workbench. Hello. Everything okay there, Porgif? Ah! My steel flame friend! That's Behold! Me. Oh, your lockbox. The one I found in the tunnel. You're welcome. Just the one. It was bequeathed to me when my dear Ma passed. I'm so Never sure. I could get the damn thing open, but the lock must have broken off when the rock breaker attacked. Haven't seen its contents at long last. I want Marcia to have it. Oh. My sister. She could use it more than me. Hold on. If it was given to you, <laughs> why couldn't you get it open? I lost the key you know how it is with small objects big hands not that you know how it is exactly i mean your hands are dainty of course no not dainty well forged that's it Forgive. all right i stole the box it was supposed to go to marcia but i just wanted something of my ma's to remember her by could have just so asked your sister for part of it belongs to your sister and now you want to return it what was inside that made you change your mind Nothing. I just thought she'd want it back. She and my ma were close. Me, well, guess you could say I was always the stray spark. All right, Porgif. Sounds like you <laughs> want me to give this box to your sister. Where is she? Please say plain song. That is a good question. I know she was working in chain scrape last. Huh. I have a friend there. Petra, Petra. Ha <laughs> ha. Well forced and well connected. I don't think you understand how 
many games I've played and just completely forgotten the names of everybody in the story. So the fact that I knew that the sisters were the boom sisters. tell her, I still remember the flying and that and I remember Petra with my whole heart is a feat that this game has. I bet Petra would know where I can find Marissa. I should pay her a visit the next time I'm in Chainscrape. Okay, let's see what's closer. Chainscrape or plain song. Oh Jesus Christ, Chainscrape is all the way back at the beginning. Let's go to Plain Song first. Although with my luck, I'm gonna to go to Chain Scrape and then she's gonna send me back to Plants Travel. But it's fine, because I can, I can fast travel. Oh, it's raining. I should look for the herbalist. Might still be Nilo. I could give him the Scarlet Stones. Gosh, so many side quests. So out. little time. I hear Tanakh rebels have taken over the border gates west of here. Best stay clear of them if you're heading that way. Thanks for the heads up. We haven't even done any rebel outposts, really. We have enough to deal with. Maybe they could use a little help. We have more important. Oh gosh, I'm like the number one task doer What's going of this. On here? You're the one who spoke before the chorus. Maybe you can help. I'm best friends with Zoe, so, so probably. This is not your concern, Outlander. Have we not tolerated enough of your intrusions? I think you can handle one more. Weird. What is it? My wife, Kalai. She was to join the chorus. She went up to the promontory to perform the rite of discovery, but she must have fallen. Oh. And now they are abandoning the search. We have done enough, Bree. The search party found nothing Hello, but her always sleepy. broken beside the riverbed. And atop the promontory was only the dye she used for the ritual. We will not ask more of our people to risk their lives because of one woman's stubbornness. But the seed she carried deserved to be planted and remembered. Yeah. I heard how you helped the land god, Ray. Now you saw no one else could. Please, will you look for her seed pouch? Yes, I will. All's hope is a creeping vine. How was Kalai chosen to join the chorus? The chorus chooses its own, but they can't do so in isolation. They must listen to the people. Kalai was a growing voice for new ideas instead of old traditions, and her beliefs were catching on. We but if they pushed her? ourselves to dissonance. Unpleasant though it might be. So you had to admit, Kalai, or risk legitimizing her ideas even more. The Outlander catches on quick. I'm pretty smart. The rite of discovery. What is it exactly? It's a pilgrimage to the promontory. The place where the first Utaro beheld Plainsome. Kalai was to follow the path our ancestors took. Mark her eyes with dye and then play her song while overlooking the land. She then would have added her mark on the promontory itself, joining the marks of those who came before. Every new chorus member used to make. When you say dye in her eyes. Because of derangement, the practice has been abandoned. Too dangerous. No one's done it for years. Then why did she do it? We all urged her not to. I'm so sure. But as was her way, she ignored our warnings. Something's fishy. She thought it would lend strength to her point of view. She needed to prove that she respected the old ways, even as she advocated against them. Then maybe more people would listen. What were Kalai's political beliefs? Radical. The kid didn't think you would have gotten the law. Plain song is dying. But Kalai believed we don't have to die with it. As the wind carries the seed to distant lands. She proposed that the Utara leave Plain Song and seek out a new home. We are bound to this land. 
A tree cannot pick up its roots, even as fire approaches. But you are not trees. <laughs> Solid advice. Kalari was carrying a pouch of seeds? Yeah, they all do, Aloy. Pay attention. We choose the seeds at a young age. Taken from the plants of our forebears. Who taught us all this? Of other significance. And when one passes, their seeds are returned to the land. Of the Actually, nourished. I think that other guy taught us that. So the life may oh, spring again. Did. Which is why I want Kalai's pouch. Her seeds deserve to be planted in plain song. The river will carry the seeds to new soil, where they will take root and flower. But they won't be at home. It's the best we can hope for. You still are being. So I'm that way, I can take a look around. I Thank think there you. was a murder. The promontory is northeast of here. Look for the broken bridge at the bottom of the cliffs, right at the promontory's base. That's where the search party found her instrument. Okay. That all right with you? <laughs> How you waste your time is not my concern. Searching for what the land has already reclaimed is fruitless. Forget that explosion. That's where sure got what was coming to him. If you're hungry, stranger, I I'd be willing to trade some rations. Some local stew. Thank you. A warm meal can save your life. Sun shine upon you. Where is the airbus? This place is a maze. Precarious. Ah, excuse me, pardon me, sorry. Don't take it personal, she's an outlander, that's rude. Taking a shortcut. Up even higher? Is your name Nico? Nilo? You're the herbalist here, right? Are you Nilo? No, Nilo was before my time. I think he went up north a while oh, of back to river him. Why? Do you need a special solve? No, but Can I say that someone word? else does, in a way. Thanks. Hmm. I'll try river him. There's a grove there, a, a memorial, a beautiful greenery. I've been if there. If he's there, I, I bet he'll be tending it. It's not, Thanks again. That's not the Come name of the guy that we help. helped before. Don't talk to me like 
there. I hope you never talk to me again, sir. This is a weird place to drop me off after a... I don't really want to trade, I just turn them off. Keep me in mind when you need armor or stitching. Okay. This place is very hard to navigate. There needs to be like street signs or something. We'll have nothing by months. Hello. What's going on here? Sounds like there's a problem. We're speaking about something important, Outlander. You'll I am pretty nosy. Later. A reminder of why I often prefer plants to people. <laughs> They're so much less demanding. I apologize for y'all. My people used to be friendlier, but hunger robs many of their kindness. Relatable. Seems like there's a lot around here in short supply. Is there anything that can help? As you all said, we need food. So much so that we've sent hunting parties to the old crow. This was some the forest in the north. 90s microbangs. Never used to hunt animals for food. We never had to. But as our crops fail, we've run out of options. But something I'm else helping your crops. A machine slaughtered the last hunting party we sent out. A Clostrider. But to hear the lone survivor tell it, more deadly than any we've seen before. Until it's gone, I can't risk more hunters, but without that meat, our people grow more lean every day. I saw you up there when I spoke in front of the chorus. Yes. I'm sorry I couldn't do more to help you, and especially Zo. Many Utaru like to think we're above politics, but that is far from true. I don't often agree with Fane, but I have to work closely with him on many matters. So you didn't want to cross him? Not in such a public way, no. <laughs> I hope you don't hold it against me. What's done is oh. done. Oh. It all turned out in the end. You would have got so close to, <laughs> to her face. Without more food, how much longer can the tribe hold out? The land gods blight the fields more every day. A month? Too. The maddening part is that many are resigned to this fate. Like Fane, who would have us simply wait to die. You well, the good him. news is... Death is merely part of the grand cycle. But you'd rather do something. If I don't... Yes, like send hunters to the old world for food. Fane fought that situation, then the world's gonna end in three He will so. undoubtedly cast what happened to the hunting party as another reason to side with him. If we let him. Tell me everything you know about the machine that attacked your hunters. It fell upon them near the edge of the old growth. One of them, Ven, survived and made it back to Plainsong. If you wish to question him, he's recovering with our healers. The other four hunters weren't so fortunate. It must be a powerful beast. Can you destroy it? I've handled tough ones before. Good. The old growth must be made safe for hunting. But one more thing. Every Utaru yes, wears yes, a yes. small patch of seeds. Given at birth, yes, so I've heard. at death, it is how we remember our loved ones and celebrate their place in the cycle. It would mean a great deal to the hunters' families if you could recover them. I'll do what I can. I know you will. Be careful in the forest. Before I head for the old growth, I might want to talk to the survivor. See what he can tell me about the Clostrider. This will break my fall. Just collecting quests left and right over here. Having a good day? Can you spare a moment for a lowly forger? 
I didn't know there was a hole in the floor. You weirdos. That's bad. Oh. Is something wrong? Sounds like someone's in trouble. I'm saving everyone else Check. in the village, so. You heard some rumor about Tanakh loitering around where they're not supposed to be. Took off south for Stone's Echo the next day to find them. Damn fool. Who is this Jax exactly? My Check. friend. Ain't it obvious? Bit younger than me, can still move without every bone creaking. <laughs> Knows his way around a bow, too. Good company to share a drink with. When there's sweet sap to drink anyway. But I told him, stick your hand in bramble and you're bound to catch a fist of thorns. Oh, I forgot how much they love their plant metaphors. Find this guy. Stone's echo, he said? That's right. Uh, if you don't mind me, these roots aren't gonna dig themselves. So many new tasks to do. Okay, I think we've collected all of the weird errands and stuff that this place has to offer. I, I guess we're gonna see this love story out first. River him. I should look for Nilo. Give him the scarlet stems. The herbalist in plain song said he might be near the memorial grove. A brighter day. Oh, I look, more tasks. Did she say Nilo? She did. Hey, That's Lord. not good. I can't believe it. What the hell? I came back ready for a fight and instead found that you had oh. already ended one. I wasn't alone. Your people are lucky to have Q leading. I thought that was the lady I was just Stubborn talking to. Weeds, that one. But her bangs are longer. I'm just glad we're all back too. in Riverhem. For good this time. May the land always bloom in your steps, Aloy. Thank you, Nell. But wait, go wait. Do what? She was just saying something about. Nilo. What have you been up to? Bless you. May your seeds take blessed root. Uh, hi there. Nora, here. You're a long way from home. Not a Nora. I suppose I am. I'm looking for an herbalist named Nilo. I think I heard you say his name. Oh, I thought the You've Nelson. Come to the right place. His seeds were buried here, oh. where he tended the blooms of others, including my mother's. I'm his daughter, Rip. Gia. Oh. How long has he been gone? Some five years now. He put a lot of love into this grove. Almost as much as he gave me. I don't think we should tell you, the lady. That's why I could never abandon River him. I'd like to leave some flowers, if I may, from an old friend of his. <laughs> Scarlet stems. They're rare in these parts, but they were his favorite. I never knew why. He planted them whenever he could, but never picked them. Preferred to just watch them bloom. Sounds about right. So he was a good man who led a full life? He was. And he did. 
I don't beautiful. know who this old friend is, but if my father liked them, they must be a good soul. Oh. I don't want to tell her that sad story, though. Good God. There's a little lock next to this tall neck. That's cute. There should be a lock next to this Gemini cauldron, too, since I can't do it still. Oh my gosh, so many new tasks, so many new tasks. Oh, I meant to talk to the survivor at Plain Song. Gosh, more exclamation points. Hi. The first bloom of the winter song. Hooray! I can feel the heaviness of my years fade away just by looking at them. They're beautiful. It was good to see the young ones fight for this place. I'll be damned if those sprouts didn't hold their own, strong as the roots of a proud tree. <laughs> just don't tell them I said that. Your secret's safe. Now, I better make sure our newly victorious warriors don't injure themselves while celebrating. <laughs> Fair. I'm starting to get overwhelmed with tasks. There's so much to do, so little time. Okay. Let's go close out this in bloom task. I feel like this is like flying to California to tell someone someone died, but I delivered the flowers. Friend, I'm here to tell you sad news. Bittersweet news, I suppose. Look, the Outlander's back. I can still see well enough, girl. <laughs> oh. Is my long vigil over? You have word from my grandmother's gardener? Yes and no. I laid the scarlet stems at his grave. His favorite flower, according to his daughter. Always loved to watch them bloom. He's gone. But he did think of me over the years. That'll have to be enough. Really? That's it? <laughs> Are you sure you got the right guard? Herbalist? Huh. Seemed like you thought it was a fool's errand. Well, it's just that it meant something to you. It could have been a whole other life. Could have been. But this life hasn't turned out so bad. I even have a granddaughter who cares enough to come looking for me out in the wilds. And I've still got scarlet stems to remind me of Nilo. Sounds like your grandmother's got it all figured out. Maybe she does. Just tell me the next time you want to come out here, okay? Instead of disappearing? Maybe I will. <laughs> here, Outlander. Take this. For helping an old woman to remember she was once young. Oh. Hooray. Thank you. Okay, now we have to go to back to playing song for a second. survivor before I forget where he is
Then I think that we should go visit Petra. Because why not? God, you have another rumor? Or are you the survivor? Another rumor. Rumor has it. South of Plainsong lies Jacket Deep. There is a lake there that conceals many ancient relics. A Karjira expedition discovered it not long ago, but I hear machines have destroyed their camp. That's some bad luck. Drag a little deep. Hunting party. Oof. Looking that, rough. I'm here about the machine Baby. in the old growth. You're going after that horror. I'm going to try. Do you mind answering a couple of questions about it? I'll I'll tell you what I can. Tell me what happened, step by step. There were five of us. Hunting for boar to help feed the tribe. Just like we had done half a dozen times before. This is a baby. Some machines got in our way. Happens every time we go to the old growth. Like always, we cleared them out. But this time, when we were done, we heard this roar. Hey, easy. I saw a flash from the trees. All claws and tails. From the trees? It ripped right through Cole and Re and Zan came right at me, slashed my shoulder. There was blood. Then an arrow slammed into its neck. My friend Lau, he distracted it, yelled and whooped it. It turned on him. He disappeared into the trees and it followed him. Last thing I heard him yell was for me to run. So I did. I was halfway back to playing song before I realized what I had done. Left Lao to die. Is there anything you can tell me about the machine that might help? I just had a vision it of like. like... Claw Strider, but it was no. stronger. Much stronger. Anything else? Its armor was darker and it had a strange purple glow. Thanks. I think I know what I'm dealing with. Um, I just had a vision of a I need like, to get going. gorilla shaped fight that machine. Trust me. I know what I'm doing. And well, if you do, it scared me. I hope you cut it to shreds. It myself. It killed Lao, my oldest friend. Maybe Lao's still alive. He ran into the trees. Restrain yourself, Strout. Okay. Do we finish this, or do we go to see Petra? And change script. He's meeting Manny Mosey. Yeah, let's go see Petra. Good idea, Carla. Just need to find the fire pit. Woof, so far. 
Oh, is this the campfire where those three men are hanging out way too close and I always end up inside of their circle somehow when I warp in? Ah, there are my guys. Hey bros, how's it going? Long time no see. You'll see her girl. If I can remember how to get into this building. There's the table that she likes to hang out at. Oh, back room. Strike there that I've been. Hey! Come for another round? Yeah. Hey, I'm looking for an hey. Osram named Marsa. She might be working here in Chainscrape. Do you know her? Marsa? <laughs> yeah, of course. Tough gal. Puts her back into her work. Not like <laughs> <a> drug <laughs> in the louts around here. Why are you looking for her? It sounded so sexual Everest. to me. He asked me to return a family heirloom to her. Huh. <laughs> I didn't know Marsa had a brother. Anyway, last I heard, she was doing a job out by those old Karja signal towers. Northeast of here. Thanks. Hmm. Ostrom family squabbles ain't pretty. Best of luck waiting into that muck. Want a kiss? Hey. I'm looking Ooh. for an Ostrom named Marsa. She might be working. This. Marsa? Puts her boil. I met her brother. Huh. Anyway, northeasty. Thanks. Hmm. Gotta go. I gotta go, Petra. That you do. I'll keep the seat warm for you. I almost said something so inappropriate, but I'm not gonna say it. I just wanted you to know that I have exhibited restraint in this moment. And be proud of me. Okay. Boy. Stop rolling around, Aloy. Get it together. It was right there. It just she she like lo she like threw me a softball, but this is a family show. I shouldn't. Why is it already checked off? Oh, I can't even. There's not even a fire pit to go to. I just gotta walk there. Like a regular person. I'll come find you later. Oops, I pressed the wrong button to pull my glider out. Ooh, an exclamation point. Welcome I can't to my life. Over this. Which I suppose is the point of these fences. It's fine. I'm sure I'll be back. Petra said Porter's sister should be working around here. I have a feeling she will be thrilled to hear from her brother. But at least she'll get her lockbox back. True. Mmm, look at the sky. So pretty. Hi. Marissa? Yeah? What's it to- Oh. Lenora, maybe. Not Lenora. How do you know my name? I, uh, met your brother, Porgoth, out west. He asked me to give you this. My ma's lockbox. That miserable chuff stole this from me. By the forge, he broke the lock too. Uh, actually, that was from a rock breaker. Oh, so he's dead then? <laughs> no. Uh, after he saw what was inside, he wanted you to have it. Oh, 
Then I guess guilt finally caught up with him. Let's see here. I am curious. A jewel. Surprised he didn't pocket it for himself. And a letter. It's from my ma. Uh -huh. Her last wish was that I make amends with Porgov. That doesn't make sense. Porgov caused her all the family so much grief. Always running off to chase easy shards instead of helping dad at the forge. Why would I want him back in my life? If Porgov read that letter, then maybe he wants to make amends too. He also asked me to tell you that he remembers the flying keg. <laughs> Let's look. When we were kids, we used to grab a metal panel and slide down this big hill. But one day, Porgov got the idea to use an old keg. He climbed inside and off he went. Only, he didn't stop at the bottom of the hill. And that <laughs> keg kept rolling with Porgov still inside, right off a ledge. You'd think the keg sprouted wings the way it soared. Then splash, right into the lake. Thought he drowned for sure. But he lugged himself out onto the shore and shouted, Again! <laughs> Sounds like a good memory. <laughs> think that might be the only time I can remember us not fighting. Just lying there by the lake, laughing till it hurt to breathe. When you met my brother, did he look okay? He is mischievous, as well as but you can expect for perfectly out in the fine. The desert. You could see for yourself. Nah. I mean, I heard some folks are headed out that way, but I don't know. I'll think about it. Thank Do you for it. this. For your troubles. Thank you. If you decide to go, you'll find your brother at a place called Camp Nowhere. Of course he'd end up nowhere. <laughs> Cute. I guess we can do this one now. This seems strange because of Oh. Uh, actually, let's go back and talk to Zell at the base. Why not? Tower up here. Is this the one that I had that quest on before? Oh, would you listen to me? Go. See if I've been here before. I don't think I can get past that. Guess I should leave it for now. Ooh. Pretty. I could leave. Could I get? Oh, what town is that? Oh, that's James Reed. Wow. This game really is pretty. I feel like it's even prettier on my PS5, too. It's just like stunning. This is perfect. Oh, now I can uh, get this exclamation point. 
and then go to the fire pit to travel. I see you all made it back. Oh, them. That they did, Huntress. They tell me you blasted through the problem. Lokuf here came back trembling like a twig. <laughs> hey! What's important is everyone made it out. No thanks to Olven. Let's just count our lucky sparks that Petra's taken over the mine's supervision. She is the best. No more slacking off. <laughs> just stay safe. I like that it sometimes lets you do like little, because like that wasn't necessary, but it was like a little light closure, like, oh look, they're fine. Like a little, little closure. Close on the loop. Boys. Oh, there's a new part of the base. There's not an entrance I usually use. But okay. I usually use the one with the rumor girl hanging out. Hey everyone, I'm home. Like this room's changed. Is that your doing, Gaia? Yes. I have repurposed the displays to track the cauldrons you have acquired data from. Mm. Focus things trying to kill me. He <laughs> did almost drown it in fear. <laughs> A long time no see. I can't say that anymore. What else have you been studying with your focus? Yeah, I've been looking into this uh, Vegas place you found. Gaia showed us everything that happened when you went to get that Poseidon thing. Oh. This Moreland guy seems pretty smart, though. Risking the Tanakh clan lands for a light show is a bold move. Maybe I should check up on them at some point, <laughs> just in case. Right. I think it's time for me to go. Stay safe. Thank you. I will. Buddy. Okay, so. I see you've returned. I have. Now that you have those control cores, are you ready to reboot the land gods in Plainsail? Not yet. Gaia told me the reboot code has to be altered using data from the cores. She updated my focus with software <laughs> to accomplish this task, but apparently it's very complicated. It'll take time. I did like two whole tasks. Let I thought you'd be done. Help. I will. Varl looks pretty focused. Pun intended. over the data revealed to us by Poseidon. 
Just the other day, we read about mountains hiding deep underwater that spew fire. If I understand correctly, Gaia said the flames they release come from the very center of the Earth. Like a heart beating with the life of the world. As always, the cycle can be found in even the most unlikely of places. Of For course, sure. Varl's mostly interested in watching explosions happen underwater. Fair. I have to get going. Good luck. Thank you. See if anything else has changed in this joint. Did we give Beta a buck? I can teach you talk to you. You would too if you knew everything there is to know about. Are they talking about me? She oh. can also crank out a whole army of Gaia. <laughs> to kick your sorry behind when she's fixed. Strange. Hi. Have a moment? I do now. What do you think of this place? It's an efficient center of operations and an except though it could use some more color. <laughs> do be noted. That's about it. Then I'll resume my training. You should go hang out with all the, all the other friends. Is that new? I've been tackling the design of the Ag Lab. Places I have a lot of seed stock to work with. My favorite? Sample 626. Calotropis gigantea. Crown flower. We used to have one. Oops. In our backyard. Butterflies always fluttering around. Every morning, August would run out there to check under the. Yeah, we heard that already. Pizza? Pizza from Buddha. Rude. Uh, hi. I'm back. What do you want to know? You know what? I don't like your That's attitude. That's enough for now. Good. <laughs> I'll teach that girl some manners. I still never figured out what to do with that battery. Have I gone in here? Oh, I had already. Oh yeah, I have. Weird. They're flirting. Thank you. Hi, Gaia. Hello, Aloy. Hi, Gaia. So, from what Beta told me, 
I guess we can assume the Zenith's technology is powerful. I feel like we talked about all this, but it's right. all like yes. white instead of gray. As your encounters with them amply demonstrate, they appear to make extensive use of robotic servitors. Further, they seem to be equipped with some kind of protective energy field that shields them from harm. They seemed indestructible, but that weapon the rebels used stripped their shield somehow. Throughout history, every defensive technology has eventually been defeated by an offensive counterpart. While we lack the anti-shielding weapon, were I to absorb Hephaestus and utilize it to create a large force of combat machines, no shielding could withstand such an assault indefinitely. So there's hope. Always. Aww. The extinction signal didn't just wake Hades. It made every subordinate function self-aware. Why? I have wondered this myself. So far as I can tell, Hades was a sole target, and the partial sentience imparted to other subordinate functions was incidental. A signal that precise would require thorough knowledge of the system. How could the Zeniths know that? She's gotten so smart. I mean, she was always smart, but like, she's like absorbed and eternalized so much of this information. So quickly. He was supposed to steal a copy of the system for Far Zenith, but Elizabeth and Travis Tate caught him first. Yes. I also relate to her pacing Farzine around while she's talking. knowledge on the system's design through him, despite his failure. So the Zeniths are the same people who left Earth. Physically immortal. How'd they figure it out? Immortal but not From invincible. What we know of Far Zenith. It is plausible that prominent geneticists and engineers were offered a place aboard the Odyssey in exchange for their expertise. Given enough time, technology, and resources, maybe they cry off can be overcome. A bunch of them. Like how Minerva eventually generated the deactivation codes for the Pharaoh Plague. Exactly. The Zenus. Gerard, Eric, Tilda, Verbena. Tilda. Beta said they were some of the most powerful people on Earth. I think Elizabeth knew one of them. Tilda. Did she ever mention her to you? No. Elizabeth often spoke of her work, or told stories of her mother and her childhood. Mama. If she knew this Tilda, she did not disclose it with me. Unless Tilda was her mother. What we can conclude from your and Beta's experiences Probably not. is that the Zeniths are ruthless in pursuit of their goal. To protect life on Earth, they must be stopped. Easier said than done, ma'am. Those things that they have with them are terrible. Beta believes the Zeniths want to use the terraforming system to wipe out life on Earth. Start over. So they can build it how they want. There is so much of this world as it stands that is just empty analysis. wasteland why yeah they Given could just the technology they could wipe out the tribes of the world by easier means and if they're the same people who left earth a thousand years ago wouldn't they want the biosphere to be as it was it is likely they adjusted to different planetary conditions in their colony on Sirius. Mm -hmm. they may be trying to recreate that environment here turning earth into a new Sirius. Their own personal playground. Serious. Okay. I think that's enough of that. I'll be off. Farewell. For now. And it's off to the races again. Open the door. Okay. So it still has not completed the reboot code, but that's okay. It's gonna go in order now. Well, they didn't have two left feet like I do. <laughs> I could teach you. Don't tempt me. Like before, you should find an in. Darren just told them to get a room. That's very funny.
Ugh, another rumor. I have to start doing this twice a week. Every week if we want to ever finish this game. You shouldn't miss this chance to trade. I was scouting northwest of here, near the village of Saltbite. There's a place there where the ground is made of metal. Don't know what it means, but it can't be good. Be Sounds wary. like a cauldron to me. Appreciate the warning. Ah, nailed it. Iota, they are all the Greek alphabet. Which I know, because I was in a sorority and we had to memorize it. We had to learn how to say the Greek alphabet like four times before a match. It was a whole thing, but I know the Greek alphabet, which comes in handy when doing crossword puzzles. And in no other, and now I guess knowing the order of the cauldrons, even though they're not all in order, because otherwise we would have started with so recognizing these cauldrons as Greek letters and also in during crossword puzzles, those are the only places that it comes in handy, really. Which isn't... nothing. It's more than I thought they would... Like, whenever I get, ha get the answer to a crossword puzzle because I know the Greek alphabet, uh, I'm like, wow. It's more than I thought it would come in handy for when they were forcing us to learn it. Let's find this Jax. Maybe it's a cute little three-year-old that's related to Nick. Uh, sure, no problem. Hello. That's what I'm here for. It's lucky for me that you're here, Outlander. The name's Jax. Nice to meet you. The squad of Tanaka's hold up in that cave. Let's kill them. I think they're in trouble. Oh. At least one of them is injured. I'm here to offer help, but with the Tanaka, sure. such an offer might be perceived as an insult, even when help is needed. Will you stand with me? I saw you speak before the chorus, so I know you. Yeah, what if we just like happen to be wandering by to together? I will be stronger with your spirit at my side. We could do, do the. We could do um. The Thor, Loki, you there. and pretend we need this help. This camp belongs to Eagle Squad. Retreat or die. At ease, Eagle. I'm not here for blood. <laughs> Just to parlay. You know the parlay sign? Let us in so we can talk. So far, so good. Are you barefoot? That feels dangerous. Long way from the desert, aren't we? This one was blinded. Oh, Boy, no. nothing gets by you. <laughs> Looks like your training mission didn't the go heffy. according to plan. We're here to help. If you want it. How does an Utaro know we're on a training mission? He knew how to request a parlay, too. He's not Utaro. Or Tenax. He must be a veteran. A veteran? I didn't think there were any left. We don't need help from a washed out farmer. Could have fooled me, judging by the look of things. Sister, it sounds like they just want to help us. Why not let them? Yeah. Why not let us? What have we got to lose? Yeah, I have questions about this veteran situation. What does it mean to be a veteran? I was born to Nak, but offered to Utaro in exchange for tribute. Tribute? Back when there was plenty, the Utaru offered yearly gifts of food to the Tanakh to keep peace between them. Over time, this tribute grew into an exchange of people. Oops. The Tanakh needed able-bodied youth to fight their clan battles. And the Utaru needed veteran soldiers to train the defenders of playing song. I don't like that at all. Was Unless you volunteer to tribute. Keyword. You may yet need my spear, young warrior. <laughs> How do they not recognize that he has the paint of their tribe, even though he's wearing Utaru 
You said you're on a training mission? A okay. machine hunt. The final test before a young squad goes on active duty. Everything was going fine. We tracked a claw strider and hit it hard, but it fled into a herd of bristlebacks. One charge right at Kore. He dodged just in time and landed a strike as it passed. I hit an acid canister. The spray was like fire in my eyes. Or acid in your eyes? I should have scouted ahead. Spotted the herd. No. I should have spotted that canister. What do you need? Supplies. Dried meat, ammunition, weapons, camping equipment. A lot of provisions for a trip back to the desert. Everything we need is at River Watch. A huge cache of war spoils up there, left over from the route. The route. When our forces drove the Karja back to Baron Light, they made sure the Kestrels felt the loss, made it hurt. Marshal Canera shot a score of fleeing Karja from the top of River Watch, and her squad gathered the loot. It's all just sitting up there. Ours for the taking. Deadly machines are known to patrol that place, and the ruin itself is on the brink of collapse. You think machines and rotting ruins are enough to keep out Eagle Squad? <laughs> no, but your injuries are. Let Jax and I grab these supplies for you. This is our mission. I'm not handing it over to some... Fine. Come with us. <laughs> Fine. The three of you hold position. I'll be back. Be safe, sister. I'm gonna get this poor girl killed. Okay, we run and we run in. The ruin is this way. Mm -hmm. Once we get those supplies, everything will be fine. So you say so. Saying. What's that <laughs> supposed to mean? Your brother's condition is... That's not your problem, farmer. So you say. Stop oh, really? saying that! Hey, calm down. We're trying to help, remember? So you say. <laughs> Hey, there are... We'll have to cut across the river. Avoid the outlander camp down the road. Oh. <laughs> Something wrong? I hate getting wet. Tough as a ravager, this one. I heard that. That's beautiful little archway we're going to. Ooh, stars are even more creepy. Oop, oop. Oh, we're just slow. We're here. The entrance should be right under that arch. Make sure I'm not using one of my fancy. Sorry, Hunton. Here, might as well. Oof. 
Stay still. Where'd it go? That's the last of them. I had that. Give credit where credit is due, young one. Maybe I would have handled it better if I wasn't busy covering you, old man. Okay, all right. Oi, with the fighting already. I guess the farmer hasn't lost all his fighting spirit. Supply should be up there. You got the artichoke. What's a deadly climb to Eagle Squad? What are you trying to say, old man? Enough. I'm a good climber. <laughs> I'll take the supplies. Come. Let's see if any of these machines have parts we can strip. Maybe I'll show you a thing or two. What could a farmer possibly know about salvage? Oh my gosh. Only Xenophobia. Experience so strong. To your very brief existence. Okay. Gotta find a way into the ruins. Into the um. No! for my stash later. Oh, there we go. I thought that was a machine. <laughs> Looks like some kind of basement. Gotta find a way up. That's cute. I do like my little flashlight. Is it my focus? Whoops. Oh yeah, it must be. Hmm. Nice and precarious, just the way I like it. Their fire gleam. Oh. Okay, the supply cache should be at the top of the tower. But how to get up there? Well, let's try the stairs first. Break it down. I think I can make that fall if I shoot the weak point. There we go. Oh, 
Hello, crate, my old friend. Where do we reckon you need to be? I hate those spines that are sticking out of- Oh no! Take a lot of acid to bring it down. Yeah, I hate whatever that is. Okay, well, I just- oh, oh, oh gosh, I glitched through the floor. It's unfortunate. Okay. Let's try that again. Can't wait to learn how to get rid of those vines. Alright, let's try this again without falling off. That would be a great. Small cash. Can't be the supplies Sakura wanted. Better keep looking. Probably still not enough. Upsy daisy. place was falling apart. Oh, hell yeah. Do you mind if I do war cash? Is the tower gonna These come down supplies? on something? Won't last them very long. Uh-oh. I had a feeling that was gonna happen. I can't leave that kid alone for a second. <laughs> Jackson Sakura are in trouble. I gotta. Come in, guys. That machine is Shroba. Jackson Sakura. I gotta get in there and take down those machines. What the hell is that? Oh, that's a fucking danger for Dangeroo! Oh, 
Ah, uh, that's right in your stupid open mouth. Is there another one of those things? Another danger room. No danger. Bad danger. Nice. It's done. I better check on Jackson Sakura. I want to find those arrows he threw at me. Supplies just hiding. I heard him through them. Danger cargo pod, please. I'm stuck in the bush. Small cash. Can't be the supplies Sakura wanted. Well fought, Eagle. Though I would have preferred if you hadn't taunted that thing. <laughs> what did you find? Practically nothing. Sakura, there's maybe a day's worth of food here and some rotting medicinal herbs. I have so many herbs, though. There must be more. Enough for... It was never your intention to go home, was it? What do you mean? A blind Tanakh can't fight. And if you can't fight... The Tanakhth will kill Korra from being blind? He'll face a trial against the machine. They say it's more dignified that way. But it's still a death sentence. Yeah, I'm not... The most so open-minded. I'm use the extra supplies to live in the wilds. I thought it would be enough to get us started. Can't they stay in Plainsong? Plainsong has too many mouths to feed. The Korras would never allow it. We should get back. I'll take this young sprout back. Meet us at the cave when you can. No, I want to follow you like we did just now, because that was easier. Little hands on the hips. Just gonna finish this up and then this will be the last. Thing we do today. It's been a nice long session. Got a lot done. But just gonna wrap things up with the Eagle Squad and call it a night. Maybe give them some of our rations, because we are good at finding more. Oh, hey, okay. your camp. I'm not gonna deal with that right now. Speak the truth. Plain and simple. Aloy, we were just about to head in. 
So what will you tell them? That we'll have to make do. Survive in the wilds without the supplies. That will be a hard life. Better than letting Cory be killed if we go back. There must be another way. I don't see one. There's other places you could go. There's so many towns. So, we're all stocked up then? The cache was empty. But we'll be alright without them. I can't let you starve out here. Just leave me. No! Jax, you said Plain Song has too many mouths to feed to take them all in, but what about just- I am not leaving my brother behind! He'll be safe in Plain Song. And the rest of you can head home. It's the only real solution you've got. So the cores won't like it. But one will be an easier but cell than four. I vouch for the boy. Share my rations with him. I could convince them. I will do so if Cora wishes. No! What about like not taking chain him. scrape? They have plenty of people. Petra would take care of him. I think this is the best option. I'm a burden to you out here. This is what I want. Let me go with him. You can go visit whenever you want. Permission granted. But brother, this is not the end for us. Yeah, see? I will visit you in plain song. And no Utaru or Tanakh can stop me. They will be foolish to try. <laughs> not I'll so bad for a humble farmer, eh? Hey? Then take Cora back with me. You've shown strength and wisdom today. A rare combination. You have my thanks and theirs too, I'm sure. Anytime. Hooray! Okay, we're gonna just find a fireplace to save up at and then call it a day. Let's actually pick what we're gonna do. Might as well do this next, because it's next on the list. Newer, the closest campfire would be this way. Okay, thank you all so much for watching. Um, this was a lovely evening. And I look forward to doing more side quests and adventures with you next time. Talk to you all later. Goodbye!